Hi, Dollar Tree Stas. We are at the Dollar Tree in Huntington Station. And the other day I promised I would share with you, I told you guys I would share the rest of my Naugatuck, Connecticut finds with you in a video, but I found so many things, the video was too long. So more than likely they'll be in this video, but I do wanna let you guys know that in this Dollar Tree, you can find every single size and color of these slides because a lot of you have been asking me and this store is kind of like not that busy so when you guys get to see this video I'm pretty sure they're still gonna be here because they're kind of out of the way but they've got a ton of them guys check it out a ton of them in the gray the pink all the colors they're here okay this is pretty cool here in the back of the store I am seeing the original peppermint sage all-purpose cleaner and now I'm realizing the Lavender Breeze all-purpose cleaner is a whole other scent. Or actually, I think that they actually did make Peppermint Sage. I don't even know anymore, but I'm realizing that there are two scents to this amazing all-purpose cleaner. And the scent of this Lavender Breeze is delightful. It smells like real lavender that you are pulling out of your garden. How amazing is that? These are plant-derived ingredients formed into this all-purpose cleaner in peppermint sage or lavender breeze. I actually loved this one, so I'm sure that I'm gonna love this one too. Oh, they have new brand name headbands by Madison Tyler, fully restocked. They've got this pink kind of jersey knit ribbed one, this cute chambray really pretty print as well blue and white and down here i'm seeing this lovely blue and pink floral print and they have the scunchy ones oh these are nice with the paisley actually i don't think i've seen the headbands like this what i did see were the ponytail holders and the scunchies but it looks like those are already sold out look there's so much guys it is continuously being restocked yeah those are actually all gone oh no no here we have a few left we've got the scunchie that we saw originally and the scunchie with the little tails that make it look like you have a scarf but they even have headbands and you can pair those all up those are pretty cool I almost you guys know that I kind of want to move them all together right but I'm not gonna start renovating the Dollar Tree then they have these extra large dentless goody ones I've been seeing a lot of goody products popping up in the DTs and I happen to love this type of ponytail holder because you can also attach your keys to it so I really like that and at a buck 25 those are cool I like the color as well they have these gun sheet clips that I picked up the other day and I really really like them you get two of the like salon style clips for a dollar 25 those are really nice they feel like silicone but they're really sturdy uh, I have actually never realized what this was you guys what in the world is this okay so the other day I saw it and I saw a test and I thought that it was I don't know for some crazy reason I thought it was a pot test I didn't pay that much attention to it but I actually am seeing now that it is the best of nature and science testosterone booster convenience pack authentic 100% pure ingredients boost testosterone levels it increases the libido dietary supplement 12 caplets what do you huh it says to take one serving three caplets once per day each time with eight ounces of water do not exceed one serving hmm is this like Viagra? I'm not even really sure what this is. What is this for, guys? Now this, I don't remember ever seeing. Orange Blossom and Honey, limited edition, great scents, wax melts. You get eight of them. That sounds like it would be a really exciting summer fragrance for a buck 25. I haven't been in here in a while and their book section is packed, but I'm not finding any books. Well, I'm finding a lot of books I've never seen before, but they're not anything that I really wanted. This one is called Hard Pressed, The Hacker Series 2. In Hard Pressed, the highly anticipated second book of the Hacker series that began with 
hardwired, Blake and Erica face threats that put both their love and their lives on the line. I don't know. Interesting. Then we have Miss Violet and the Great War, a strangely beautiful novel. Now, I know a lot of you guys asked me to please show you the novels, The Sea Beast Takes a Lover. They're very interesting novels here today. They're not really... Um, hardcover, which I do find quite often with the novels, but they're interesting. Volume Control, Hearing in a Deafening World. I actually have shown that one to you guys before. I find it to be a really interesting book. Then we have The Fires of Blackstone. It looks like a Western book. Once Upon a Royal Summer, Loving Your Place on the Spectrum. This is actually a very cool, very inclusive book. Donna Hill and Francis, You Make It Feel Like Christmas. Oh, that's nice. Trey, I don't know where this was originally from. D, oh, this is, oh, wow, these books are from BJ's. Look at that. That's interesting. I didn't know they got books from there. Christmas in Vermont. Looks like they do have a bunch of Christmas books and like Harlequin romance novels. Wild Rain, Rough and Tumble crazy like a fox. Oh, that's cute. Then we have this. Mary Lou is everywhere. Who is Mary Lou? A book brimming with longing and heartbreak. Oh, no. Daughters of the Occupation. The Widow's Christmas Surprise. I mean, lots of Harlequin romance novels, but I do see like a behind the scenes layer. Let's dig in guys. Now this, this is interesting. It's called pause, harnessing the life changing power of giving yourself a break. Pause is the real deal with proven techniques backed by science. Uh, Rachel O'Meara shows us how to connect with ourselves and tap into what we really value. Huh? This is this this actually sounds good. I love books like this. Sometimes life throws you a loop. You're stressed out at your job. You're torn between work and family. Your motivation and productivity. Your motivation and productivity. Your motivation and productivity are taking a nosedive. Your impulse might be to lean in and tough it out. But what you really need to do is take a step back, reassess your life with a clear head and dive back in with purpose and poise. In this enlightening book, Rachel O'Meer guides you through the steps of your own purpose journey, the signs that you're in need of a meaningful break, planning your optimal pause, whether it's as short as a day or as long as an epic journey, re-entering the world with renewed clarity and purpose. I think I'm going to take this. This They have a lot of them too. There's a bunch of these and I think this one's coming home with me. Oh, we've seen this one before lately. How to live a simple, serene, and stress-free life. Oh, look at this. There are a lot of signs today. Express gratitude for the request admiration. There's a lot of signs here today. What does this one say? Thank you for thinking of me. What a wonderful project. I wish I could help attend practice. Huh. This is how we're supposed to um, express gratitude for an invite, I guess, or something to an endeavor. And it says, thank you for thinking of me. What a wonderful project. I wish I could help attend, participate. Huh. It gives you like prompts in all different walks of life on how to simplify your life without offending people. This is pretty cool. My crown is in my heart, not on my head. Wow. I love that. Yes, I love this. That's William Shakespeare. Vaguely remember reading that in the past and I hate it when people like label me queen of anything. I, I just don't like it. That makes so much sense. Look at this. Letters of Notes. Now, this one is called Letters of Note Cats, compiled by Sean Usher. What is this about? Are these cats giving us notes now? <laughs> what is happening here? The Cat Organ. Oh, they're like short stories. 
Hmm, this is cute. It's a little book. Penguin Pump. It's a little book. It was $15 originally and Penguin Publishing always has like insightful, cute little books. Reading through them is addictive while dripping into a bag of, it says critical acclaim. It says critical acclaim for letters of note. Reading through them is addictive. Like drip. Then there's this book. Oh, it's Penguin Publishing. I love their books. They're always cute little insightful, enlightened something. There's always something about their books that I love. Letters of Note, Cats, compiled by Sean Usher. Hmm. Um, obviously, it's letters from the compiler of the best-selling Letters of Note collection comes this irresistible new volume of affectionate missives about our feline companions from Charles Dickens, Raymond Chandler, Anne Frank, Elizabeth Taylor, and more. Oh, is it people writing about their cats? What? It says, critical acclaim for letters of note. Reading through them is addictive, like dipping into a bag of variously tempting assorted candies knowing that the next one will always bring surprise and pleasure this is a cute book for a cat lover christmas in vermont a lot of christmas books let's hope for the best they do have these crossword puzzle books with the pretty covers we've seen them in the past but this is like a new version only ever you child lost child found the story's not over wow in other words, love, a second chance romance from Hallmark Publishing. Oh, I've been seeing a lot of Hallmark Publishing as well. That's cool. The Golfer's Care. Oh, this is a Target book. Yeah, just lots of novels. A Texas Kind of Christmas. And The Forever Girl. This one is called Distrust. Then we have summer of little beach street bakery oh i want to spend my summer right here making gluten-free baked goods or getting someone to do it for me then we have the marvelous monroe girls this is also a bj's book i'm gonna assume it looks like the other one so many novels like i was saying i mean so many racked and stacked <laughs> i don't know but i'm just showing and we have this one as the wicked watch a terrific read and then once upon a royal summer what else what else any more don't uh, didn't see that coming nope didn't see that coming but it's definitely here on the shelf and what else anything else different there's a lot of bibles christmas in evergreen bells are ringing based on hallmark channel original movie oh my god those are so cute and feel good it's mine and yours the Earthquake Bird, winner of the CWA New Blood Dagger for Best Debut. Hmm, I don't know what that is, but it is a Netflix film. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Most of the time I've seen everything on Netflix. When Life Gives You Pears. Oh, we've seen this one already. And, oh, you see that? This is why I actually I'm so excited that I dug like crazy because look at what I discovered I have this already but I'm not I'm actually not going to get them but guided journal simple and free Jen hat maker this is such a beautiful journal you guys and they have quite a few of them right here on the shelf they're wonderful books I love journals like this so lovely I love the cover it has a lot of space in here for your journaling and it gives you prompts and then what do you feel excited for for day 22 let's say like it's just a great journal i've discovered that reduced consumption doesn't equal reduced community or reduced contentment there is something liberating about unplugging the machine to discover the heartbeat of life still thumping it is such a nice journal i really love it now this one i find so quirky the Victorian Parent's Guide to Raising Flawless Children. Ungovernable. Ungovernable. <laughs> That's, I want to say it like I'm in the movie Oliver Twist. Oh my gosh. Death deals a mercy blow to an industrious wife before her feverish 
work ethic can weaken the human gene pool. Oh my goodness. I don't know, guys. I don't know what this is about, but you know, these are Victorian times. There were lots of strange beliefs back then. This is an interesting book though. Definitely cool. I actually kind of like this book. It's just, it's kind of like Ripley's Believe It or Not um, in a weird way. How to be sure you're not too ugly, sickly, or, oh, this is terrible, stupid to breed. Which positions and room decor will help you conceive a son? My gosh, this is definitely a quirky book. Oh, these are pretty as well. There are so many different styles of the Pretty Woman False Nails where you get 24 nails. Look at this shape. This is a really pretty, pretty nail. It has the pearl embellishment and the glue for a buck 25. You can't beat it, guys. Guys, the gardening rake is back, and this year they made it in orange and green. I love the metal handles. Every mop and broom in my house has this metal handle instead of the plastic one. They brought back all of the absolutely excellent metal gardening implements as well as the fantastic garden tool hanger. I absolutely love, love this item for a buck 25. These are awesome finds, especially the metal handle for anything in your house. For all of my friends out there who have bought over the years books on jewelry making and have never actually tried it or beadwork or anything like that, well, now's our chance, guys because this right here is an explore jewelry making end cap little box display from Cousin DIY. Now Cousin DIY is not a Greenbrier product. This is normally sold in Walmart, guys. This is so cool. You get a hundred pieces of these yellow happy face beads or these cute silver happy face beads. Do you guys see that? Or look at this alphabet it says gold letter beads so you can spell words put them on a necklace because there's more awesome items coming or a bracelet now we have them in silver and in gold then we have this pearl seed beads mm, they're actually white they're not really pearlescent these though these are actually more pearlescent there are some translucent ones rainbow seed beads <laughs> you guys know that i just I just love how that looks. I wish that I had the patience for that, but I think I can still do some of this. Then we have the cross large hole beads. Guys, these are Pandora dupes. Pandora, oh my gosh, they have the Pandora bracelet knockoff, Pandora knockoffs at the Dollar Tree. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? This is insane. So this one has a crucifix or two different styles. These are really, really cool. Then we have this collection and it has like a shell and a mermaid and an, oh, I'm loving it, an iridescent Pandora knockoff bead. Can you guys see that? That's a really cool motif. Then we have this one, which I already have selected. It's got so many pretty turquoise beads on it. I love, love it. Then we have, these are necklaces, corded necklace bases that you could put. I don't know exactly how you put anything on them, but I'm assuming that the website CousinDIY.com lets you know how to put things on it. That is pretty cool. Maybe you could put the word stuff all over it. Then they have this mushroom charm pack, which is two mushroom charms. You could by the red and the purple or the green and the orange. Are you guys seeing how cute that is? You can add those to some sort of beaded earring necklace, but these tassels, oh my gosh, I need two packs of these. They are so cool. They will definitely be getting added to some sort of earring of some kind. And then they do have jewelry repair kit, 60 pieces. Oh, what? This is aw Oh my gosh, this is really cool. They have all kinds of components so that you can repair jewelry or try your hand at multiple things. Now we have bracelet findings pack. 
So that is also cool. You have clasps. You have all of the little bits and tidbits that you need to do this. This is awesome. I am really impressed with this. I'm going to take one of those for sure because it's like a variety pack. You never know when you need it. Then look at this. They actually have gummy bear beads, 100 of them. This is so cute for kids DIYs that are old enough to make little bracelets or something. And look, guys, they actually have the stretch cord, 32 feet for only $1.25. This is expensive in the store. Yes, this is a great, great buy. They've also got this one, and it says that it's a celestial bead pack. There's an iridescent moon and a purpley moon, beads, stars. Oh, this is really adorable. You can make, oh, and it also has, I think that's the stretchy cord here as well. That's pretty cool. Then we have this suede cord. That looks super cool. It comes in brown. It comes in all of these colors, guys. Purple, blue, brown, orange, a different version of brown. You get eight feet, yellow, green, and black. How amazing is that? And I showed you guys already the stretch cord, which is a great buy. Then for $1.25, you can get the copper color, gold color, or silver color of this wire nine feet and the coolest thing i think that they have are the jewelry making cards so you can actually maybe post them to etsy or start a business even with your hobby you can buy this card for earrings or necklaces as you guys can see you get 15 of them or you can buy this one for a dollar 25 where you get 15 and it is a necklace card kit so you put the necklace through here and you can hang it and display it in flea markets or summer festivals. I think that these items are absolutely amazing. For the buck 25, you cannot beat it, guys. Cannot be beat. Also have this assortment to add onto the bracelet that comes with pink, blue, and turquoise beads and a butterfly and like the rosette. Isn't that awesome? Right here, this, right here, this dupe, is this not awesome? This dupe right here at Pandora caught. Is this not awesome, guys? This dupe right here at Pandora costs a good $80. But here for $250, you can make it and wear it for a fraction. Their crafter square is their crafting section is not huge. Oh, what am I talking about? It is pretty big actually, but it's so organized. Look at how nicely they have their stickers they don't have a ton of things I have seen stores that have more but I can't believe how organized it is it's really a delight I, I have to stress it because I don't see it all that often and I'm seeing these not sure I'm seeing these they're really cool definitely you could do some cute DIYing with those they have the canvases that deep blue paint sold out so fast in my area. This is what they have in their crafting section. Just gonna give you guys a little look-see of what they are showing. They've got the cute cupcake stickers, so cute. I, mean, I don't think anything I'm seeing is brand new but they are really nice. Oh my gosh, these are cute. I don't think I've ever seen them before, actually. Then we have this. I'm not sure if they're new or really old, but they are adorable. And then we have this cute pack, really. These are adorable. Oh, and an aquatic one. Look at this one. A jellyfish. Oh my God, these are really nice stickers i like pop-up stickers and behind the first pack we looked at they have this take time to chill <laughs> take your time lazy day oh this sloth is so cute and then we have these really kid-friendly dinosaurs i think that these are really super duper adorable tons and tons of perfect for mother's day or spring floral pop-up stickers to embellish all of your packages and cards. Aren't those cute? They've got tons 
of these stickers. And I, for some, I'm going to tell you guys a secret, but these stickers, whenever I see them, I call them the Melissa Etheridge stickers because... I just start singing, come to my window <laughs> when I see them. They're so cute. They make you want to go to someone's window, don't they? Like, as soon as I see this, I just start singing, come to my window. And look, they have little birds. These are actually so, so cute. I have no clue what I would do with them. I just would never use them because I would feel bad wasting them. So I don't buy them, but I love them. I love things that are window shaped. I absolutely love mirrors that are a window because I can find a use for these, but they're so cute, the Melissa Etheridge stickers. Now I'm going to put these back and we'll keep looking. This one says, be happy with the birds. I mean, they make me happy. I cannot resist falling in love with this kind of cuteness. It's so, so colorful and cute. These are really pretty too. I feel like when I go to a store and the sticker section is a mess, I don't see anything. But then when I come to a store like this where everything has a place and everything is super organized, I really see all the stickers and they pop out at me. And and that's what's making me love. I mean, yeah, I don't even notice stickers because I can't see them with the chaos that most of the time I see unless I'm specifically looking for a pack of stickers that someone has mentioned to me they want me to look for or something like that. But this store, it's just delightful. I really love stores like this. I just really love stores like this. It's just wonderful. I really love stores like this. And honestly, I can't believe the things that I'm finding in this store. Do you guys see this? They have these layer eight shoes just sitting here. People like killed each other in my area for these shoes. Oh, I'm seeing boxers. <gasps> I'm seeing crazy boxers that I have not yet seen. These have another kind of crazy looking bear. I found the red looking crazy bear ones. Now these are like yellow looking crazy bear, crazy boxers. This is really a great Dollar Tree. Um, I know I said it, but I'm going to keep saying it. Look at this high-low, high-waisted, practically halter top, beautiful army green t-shirt tank top for a buck 25. Come on, guys. You cannot go wrong. They've got a ton of the Fuzzy Baba slippers still, which the Fuzzy Babas were like some of the best things to come into the Dollar Tree. They have buckets and boxes. They've got like boxes full of underwear and apparel that is really nice quality. This t-shirt is not like a regular t-shirt. It's that thorough cell or whatever it's called so that it wicks away your sweat. They've got the Fruit Ninja three pack in a style that I have not yet seen. This is a different version. I did find a crazy boxer with the bear on it in an XL. I'm gonna get that for my son. He loves these. I've never seen these. These are men's liner socks. It says feel the softness and they are really soft. There are three size six to 12 for a buck 25. I'm going to get these for John. He's going to love them because he is very picky about the feeling of his fabrics and these are super soft and they have a bunch of it back there and they have a ton of it in there and they have the Cher 80s couture. I have only seen the 70s one time in one store, but this is a store that really and truly has got me flabbergasted. I'm really impressed with all of the goodies that they have just sitting on the shelves here. They have these, your they have these here, your moment of relaxation, sense wellness. They have the reawaken and the emerald bath and foot crystals in the mint scent, which is the green one, and the shea butter scent. Both of these smell absolutely amazing, and these flew off the shelves in my area. Another item that I never, ever, ever, ever found are the Shower Puff Assorted Colors by Barbasol. I never found these by me. You get four for $1.25, but they've got them here. They have a box full of them. They're cool too. You get four pairs. And they are ultra light ladies liners, perfect for the upcoming summer months. 
very lightweight, really nice cotton, buck 25, great buy. Uh, they not only have a box full of them, but they just have them hanging all over the place and I've never seen them. And these came out months and months ago. These are such nice Father's Day gifts. Oh, I have to show you guys the book section because I know that when I find a really exciting store, a lot of you are like, you didn't show us the book section. And I'm always sad to say that usually their book section sucks. It You can't have everything, guys. Some stores have one thing and then some stores have something entirely different but i've never seen this doctor who this is the question what the shakespeare notebooks this looks cool this looks really cool many people know about william shakespeare's famous encounter with the doctor at the globe theater in 1599 but what few people know though many have suspected is that it was not the first time they met. What? This sounds so cool. It's like they mixed up Doctor Who with Shakespeare. This is a cool book. If you have a Doctor Who fan or a Shakespeare fan, they may love this book. This could be a great gift. All the Lost Things. There have been a lot of Creepers books popping up. I did show those to you guys. So like I said, not every store is great at everything. Well, I was gonna get it for my nieces, oh, yeah. but I don't know if they would actually like it or if they would, I mean, it's such a, oh, it has stickers. Yeah, they're gonna love it. They're gonna love it because it comes with stickers. That is very cool. I mean, 288 pages is a great value. Like these say jumbo coloring and activity books and they are bend in and they do have princesses, but they have so little paper compared. Look at the size difference. Yep, I, I can't help it. I'm going to get two of these. They're so cool. I don't think I remember ever seeing this two-in-one gain plus ultra oxy, oxy blast, waterfall delight. I like to pick these up. This one has the fabric softener included and this one is just fabric softener, but I don't remember ever seeing this one. This store also has the big plump lashes in black. This is the Instant Plump and Curl by Beauty Intuition. Then they have the Rich Color Instant Curl by Beauty Intuition. They're all black. Or the Rich Color Instant Lengthening Mascara in black by Beauty Intuition. Or the Instant Volume. And now I feel that these are really awesome because each one of these has a totally different brush shape so they actually really will treat your eyelashes differently i find though i think that these are awesome for the buck and a quarter great mascara i also am seeing the warm nude tinted moisturizing chapstick and you guys know how i feel about chapstick i love it this store is just fully loaded with beautiful dollar 25 scores do they always carry these jacks by Bachman at the Dollar Tree? I feel like I've never seen these before. Real cheddar cheese puffed curls. It says they're originally $2.49. I don't think I've seen them. Actually, I feel like I've never seen these before. I don't know. They are a 2.75 ounce bag. I have seen the Thin and Right Bachman pretzels. Crispy, crunchy, great tasting. They're crispy, crunchy, great tasting baked pretzels. And those used to be one of my favorites, but of course I can't have them anymore. I do see all kinds of chips. They have lots of oots, but those, I don't remember those. Their candy department is gorgeous. Look at how, I mean, comment if your store looks like this. Is it just me? <laughs> because I am in awe of how this store looks. It looks like the planogram, doesn't it? It's picture perfect. These people work really hard. You can tell I am really just so happy when I come into a store that looks like this. It's such a pleasure. They have so many cool things. Haribo Unicornalicious. Now that sounds like a word that I would make up. And here it is, Unicornalicious. Thank you. I love it. 
Then they have this Haichu Fantasy Mix. I don't think I've ever seen that. Now they really have every Willy Wallaby there is. My goodness. Those are so yummy. I love them. Actually, I think there are some that are not here. They've got the, the Happy Cola Haribo, the Rainbow Worms, the Happy Cherries. Look at this. This is just unbelievable. It's so nicely done and huge, actually. It's a huge store. I think that has a lot to do with it. They still have sugar-free peanuts. You never find the peanuts. I'm going to get two bags of those. They're my favorite. Oh, I guess I'm going to get one coconut, one peanut. Oh, I'll be getting two peanuts and one coconut because you don't find those anymore. It's very hard to find them. Oh, I am so excited to see the Organic Treo Full Flavor Hydration, 15 calories, one gram of sugar in kiwi watermelon. Oh my God, I love the blueberry one. But then I realized that it does have carbs. It has three grams of juice in it. The carbs are high. I don't even know why, because it has so little juice in it, but Honestly, it was really delicious. I didn't realize it had high carbs, guys. I did not. But I'm going to buy a couple of these anyway because the boys may like it. I don't know. It's really good. In fact, I feel like the Nagatok, Connecticut Dollar Tree's makeup section is one of the best makeup sections I've seen in a long time. Look at all of the good stuff that they just have packed on their shelves you guys this is a great store look everything that's new just nicely stocked things that are old things that i love i love these nail files i always pick them up they've got the makeup brush holders they, i mean they are just fully stocked does anybody even come here look at how cute the insta dry this is my favorite one right here then we have the colorful one the sour patch ones They've got these pedicure kits, super duper cute pineapple with blue, and then this cheetah print in the green. These are really cute. And then we have the purple one back there. There are so many Helios nails out there. Look at these. These are super gorgeous. Do you guys see the iridescent pink? And then look at this. They have them in iridescent blue. I feel like I'm going to have to try these. Even better, you can even mix and match them. At this price, I mean, you can't beat this price. These have got to be more than $1.25 wherever they came from. And yes, so gorgeous. They have the Virgo. I don't know how I feel about the Virgo. I'm going to show you guys all the different zodiac signs and let me know which one you are and if you feel like it suits your zodiac sign this one is the virgo like i said and that's my sign i'm born september 20th then they have gemini look it has the eight ball and it says girl power they're all three packs of diamond cosmetics then this is pisces that's actually cute because it has cherries. I love the Capricorn one. Look at how cute that is. So cute. But I think that Leo is my favorite. It's funny because my husband is a Leo. But that one is definitely my favorite one. Yeah, that one looks cool. Then this is Aquarius. Now this is cool. This one does not have a Zodiac sign. This one just says Self Love Club. So if you don't believe in Zodiacs, you can grab that one. Then there's Aries. Oh, I love the Aries one. Has cherries. and I think Aries is my absolute favorite. Libra too. Oh, look at that. Libra is super cute. I don't think I like Virgo. This one is Taurus with the rainbow. I like the color. Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio is cool too. It's very purple. Then we have Sagittarius. It has like cute rockabilly looking skulls. So cute. I think that Aries is my favorite for sure. And then Cancer has butterflies and it has the crab, the actual symbol. Yeah, so those are all of them that they have. We saw the Sagittarius. I think that that is actually a cute $1.25 pickup. Now, I am seeing by special moments these photo albums 
but they're nicer than I've actually seen them made before. Four by six, and they have like a hard cover. Usually they're mushy, and you can obviously put a picture in here, or you can personalize them and do something different with them. I know crafty people do all kinds of stuff with things like this, and they have lots of prints. I love this celestial one. I think it's really pretty. You can maybe turn it into some sort of a journal or a recipe book. Whatever you crafty people do with them, I'm sure it'll be great. I'm gonna show you guys all the patterns and prints that they come in. This one is really cute. It looks kind of like high end. And then this one is very cute as well. Isn't that a cute little print? Really like that one. And then they have this blue and pink floral print, also really nice. And then they have this pretty multicolor heart pattern. We already saw that one. And then we have this one. This one is cool too. This one looks kind of high end, like some sort of high end print. But I think that those are going to get DIY. That's it guys, have you guys found anything amazing lately? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like this video and please make sure to share it with your friends and subscribe. Stay safe and stay savvy guys, bye bye.